guys welcome back to another tech guru video today we're in Adobe Photoshop CS6 and I'm going to be showing you how to apply and edit textures to your photographs so within Photoshop one of the great features is being able to use layer mask as well as overlays and things such as that so I have a normal picture here of this cute baby and I have applied a wooden texture to the background which makes it look like that there uh, and in order to apply texture to an image within Photoshop it is a very simple process so the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and open Photoshop and go ahead and insert the image in which you want to apply the texture to now in order to apply textures you need to locate or find a great texture to add to your photos in order to do that you can just go to Google type in Photoshop textures and a lot of things will pop up I recommend going over to brusheasy.com and pick up some of the free textures that they have on that website I'll drop the link in the description box down below I already have a few textures that I'm going to play around with and the one that I'm going to show you now is the wooden texture that I have added here to my other image so in order to do that I have pulled up here the exact texture that I have added it is this wood image here so I'm gonna go ahead and just take that wood image and drag it over to my image once I do that it will automatically go into my project now I'm going to have to do a little resizing to make sure that it's going to fit my photo just the way I want it to and go ahead and hit the check mark up here to go ahead and place that image now obviously this is not what we want so you're going to need to change the blend mode and in order to do that right at the top of the layers panel you'll see normal which is the blending mode go ahead and click on that now you can play around with all of these this is what's so great about Photoshop is being able to play around with all these great tools and to see what effects you can eventually achieve but I went ahead and chose the hard light option here on this specific tutorial so as you see there that adds a nice dynamic to that photograph now if I want to drag the opacity down a little bit to take off the effect just a little bit I can do that by adjusting the opacity up here but I'm going to go ahead and leave mine at a hundred percent now let's say you only wanted this specific effect on the image over to the left and not so much the face here of the baby you would need to apply a layer mask or a you know a, a mask that's going to take away that effect on a specific part of your image in order to do that select the texture in your layers panel which I have already done here and go down right here to where you see add layer mask click on the add layer mask now you can individually adjust the background which is here or the layer mask which is here as you can see the layer mask is white so in order to erase this we're going to have to use a black paintbrush to go ahead and brush that off so go ahead and choose your black paintbrush which is over here is the paintbrush and then go ahead and change the color of that to a solid black color now I've already adjusted the size of my brush to a fairly large brush to make it a little quicker and then you don't want it to be a very hard brush so leave the hardness around zero to five percent once you've done that go ahead and start brushing over the image and as you see here I'm now brushing away that texture that I added to my original image now as you see here that's going to add a texture effect kind of like it's flowing into my image now this is a very simple technique that will really amplify the effects that you can have and apply to your photographs now I hope this tutorial helped you out if it did go ahead and help me out by hitting the thumbs up button down below and if you want more great tech tutorials like this or anything technology go ahead and subscribe to my channel for much much more in the following weeks and months to come and guys as always thank you so much for watching my videos it does mean a lot and I will see you guys next time